Yo, what's going on? Um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a VR for Commenting Collector. He is celebrating 300 subs in one year on YouTube. So his VR, he wanted us to show some crappy cards. And I have plenty of those. Um, so I chose some of the worst of the worst crappy cards I have. They're definitely not the ones in the background. Um, starting off in my defaced category, Rico Cardi. I've seen two of this card with his face like this. Um, I didn't buy the other one, but he uh, he had some weird rituals before games. He would um, superstitions, I should say. He uh, lit candles in the hotel's bathtub. He was on the road and to put candles in the toilet, the sink. He uh, he was an interesting person. Um, that was an original card in my 1978 set, but I have replaced it because it did not have the best eye appeal because his eyes are missing. Um, this is just borderline crappy cards. This is just a Pete Rose. 78, it looks worse in person. Corner's a little dinged. Yeah, it's not that crazy. Harmon Killebrew. I was a little disappointed when I saw that I had bought a Harmon Killebrew with a tape line across it. Right there, I can't really see it. And I missed that when I was buying that. There's tape on the back too. Oh well. This was my first vintage card I had in my collection. I got it for 50 cents. Dick Schofield. Pretty cool. It's just pretty beat up. It's really water damaged. Um, Somebody was hungry. This card, I bought it because the corner was missing. Just has a little bite taken out of it. Um, these are all cards that have some sort of writing or coloring on them. I used to buy a lot of cards with writing or coloring. This is a Tony Oliva. Um, it has a pencil line going through it. Um, I tried to erase a pencil line before I got this signed. But, oh well. It's cool. It's unique. Signed by Tony O. Another Harmon Killebrew. This kid decided to put a little eye black goatee on him. <laughs> really unique right there. Um, next card. 71 on tops. Steve Carlton. Um, clearly he was uh, now on the Phillies. So... Very interesting. I saw a 71 Tops Thurman Munson one time where a kid wrote, he's dead now on the card. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just think cards like that are just funny. There's another example. Don Wirt. Kid wrote Washington on it and crashed out the Tigers. And then there's some purple random circle in the corner. Yeah. I don't know. Bill Rigney. Now he's a twin. Just cards like this I just think are cool. Unique. Gail Sayers. He got a nice beard and stash there. Um let's see what is this? This is just really crease cards up next. Eddie Yost. It is signed. But it also was really creased. So. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought that was a cool card. Roger Staubach. I got this one from Pure Collector. This card has a nice stain in the corner. Pretty rounded corners. Johnny Bench. I think. Not Johnny Bench. Pete Rose. I got this card for 50 cents. It's got a nice juicy crease down the middle. Um, it's pretty beat up. And then Mini Minozo. This card, <laughs> just a couple creases in it and some paper loss, but whatever. 
Then we got some die cuts from 1957 tops. Some kid cut off the borders and then ate the corner. So we have one, two, three of those. This is what a real 57 looks like. Are those, yeah, those are 57s. Um, but this one has a pin or a punch out of it. So Del Rice is missing his hat. And then final card is by far the most expensive video. Recently passed away Whitey Herzog. This is his rookie card, Hall of Fame rookie card. Um, I got this card for 36 cents and I got it signed for $5. Um, this was one of my first autographed cards that I got through the mail. First meaning like first 100 cards I got signed through the mail. Um, but it'd be worth a lot more if some kid didn't decide to cut off the border. But I like unique stuff and this fits in my collection very well. So go give Compton Collector a, subs a subscription. He's a really good channel. I really enjoy watching his videos. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.